Many of you just finished watching NBC's Dateline special on the Mos uh, Moscow murders, the killings on King Road, they called it. Well, we were watching alongside you, gaining more insight into Brian Koberger, the suspect in the Moscow murders. Today, Dateline's Keith Morrison talked with KTVB about the special and their reporting to uncover this new information. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley joins us with what Keith talked about. Jude. Well, Carolyn, uh, despite the gag order on this case, Keith Morrison and the Dateline crew were able to uncover more about Koberger, his personality, and the type of person he is through interviewing people outside the case, like a forensic psychologist, FBI profilers, the victim's friends, and one of Koberger's classmates. In this case, there has been so much interest, so much online, uh, so much continuing discussion of the case that we felt it was reasonable for us to, to you know, do some pretty thorough research on it and see what we could put together to help people understand where things are and where they might be going. That thorough research led Dateline to discover disturbing details of Brian Koberger's actions before the murders in November of 2022. We had spoken to some of the leading authorities anywhere on some of the questions involved in, in, um, in this particular case. That information unveiling more about Koberger's car ride across the country heading home for Christmas. We have found what really did happen, uh, and, and that's an interesting story in itself. The origins of the K-Bar knife believed to have been used in the killings. So how much planning may have been involved, we can't say for sure, but there are some interesting indicators. And the story of a student in one of Koberger's TA classes, the alleged killer installing cameras in her apartment after a break-in. He is now a suspect both in the initial break-in and for reasons of putting a camera in her apartment to which he would have had access. Experts diving into behavior that lies behind this type of criminal activity. When you trace his early life, it matches certain kinds of behaviors. Um, talking about seeing visual snow, for example, about the kind of dissociative episodes he would have gone through as a young person. Um, and and the, the resulting need to kind of level the playing field in a very visceral and intimate way with people who had rejected him in the past or, or some representative of people who had rejected him in the past, um, especially young women uh, with whom he had always been awkward and had some difficulty relating. The special is Dateline's second show on the Moscow murders. Keith Morrison telling us about the tremendous interest in this case. Well, it's an absolutely fascinating story. The character study involved here um, is disturbing, but but I think it's probably important to know and to think about. Uh, it certainly wouldn't be the only kind of character like that, but it rather is like others who have uh, made their way through the history of this country. and people will find it fascinating. When Dateline began reporting on this story, everyone was expecting to see a preliminary hearing in June, but on Tuesday, a grand jury indicted Koberger, canceling that preliminary hearing. Keith told us this was no surprise. Defense attorneys around the state said they expected this to happen, and this didn't really change their story, despite it happening days before the special aired. They just had to really change uh, bits and pieces of the Dateline special. Now, Koberger will appear for arraignment Monday morning. Oh, yes, and KTVB will be there. Thank you, Jude. That was quite a show tonight.